strong and tall. 189, that's about six foot two. And in fact, I think it's probably fair comment to say both of these men's singles players incredibly strong athletes and very, very good movers. Yeah, very. And it is an absolute delight to see Sonny Dwi Kunchoro back on the world stage because I remember him talking to me last year and he said that he really was disheartened by losing so many matches in qualifying or in the early rounds of tournaments because, of course, his world ranking had dropped so low. He was having to qualify for Super Series events and really got a little bit disheartened by his form. And to see him now back... Three finals this year, including two titles. Oh, he's a very good player, and I always loved watching Sonny play badminton. I think he's a very complete player. Um, so, of course, it's uh, and we need those kind of players like him on the tour. So, uh, um, it's good to see him back. Yeah, and of course, it's not only the Olympic bronze medal from Athens in 2004. He's twice a medalist at World Championships. Silver at the World Championships in 2007 in Kuala Lumpur. Lost out to Lindan in the final. And a bronze medal three years ago in Hyderabad in India. Once again, lost to Lindan. But then there was an awful lot of players. I think there's a lot of players <laughs> that wish they didn't know that name. Um... But, uh, yeah, but I, I always thought of Sonny as, as kind of a guy that when he says World Championship or Olympics, uh, he seems to come in, uh, in a very, very good form and he seems to be very strong mentally. Um, it's an, um, a remarkable thing, isn't it, that some players are big tournament players where others feel the burden of expectation and feel the pressure playing at these major championships, the World and Olympic Games, Asian Games, European Championships, whereas there's some, as you say, like Sonny, who somehow feel the, find the way to be inspired by the opportunity rather than well, intimidated. He, he, he seems to do. He seems to, to be very inspired by, by But you can also say, you know, the difference between him and, let's say, Li Chung Wei, for example, the, the pressure of going into the Olympics of the world for Li Chung Wei is way bigger than for Sonny Dwee and, and, and that means that he can maybe go in and just relax a little bit more and, and you know, surprise people. And when that is said, that's just, again, uh, you want to bend your head and take your hat off to Lindan because yeah. every time he walks on court, uh, he's expected to win. Yeah. Oh. Mm impressive isn't it I remember the very first year that he was on the world tour in a three month spell he beat the top three players in world badminton first round of the Indian Grand Prix gold event beat Lee Chong Wei in the China Games beat Lin Dan and then in the first round of the Malaysian Grand Prix beat Taufik Kidiat. and as a 19 year old as he was at the time that was pretty impressive. First year on tour, taking sculpts like that. Very. So his goal is the next four years is is to to kind of like uh, get more wins under his belt and and maybe build up uh, a good experience for the Olympics next time. Of course, we mustn't forget that Chen Long, of course, is the defending champion here at the Denmark <laughs> Open. <laughs> yeah. So he's used to like it here. Maybe I it's the like, Danish food. <laughs> well, I seem to remember him telling us last year that he did like coming to Denmark, but he wasn't all that impressed with the food. <laughs> <laughs> that seemed to play well on it. Certainly made the fans chuckle here, didn't he, last yeah. year? Probably not used to so much dark bread. 
Uh, but he seems to play well here. It's also, you know, you can say, uh, as we spoke about the, uh, yesterday also, the hall is a little bit different than to, to normal big tournament halls. Uh, it's a little, not that it's small, but it's a little bit small. And, and with the way they've arranged it here, where it's really with the light and everything, it seems small. I was down here playing on them today, training, and it, it is, you know, it is, seems like it's a little bit of a smaller court than normally. And, and when you're one, was it 88 centimeter high? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not like he's not moving well either. Mm. So uh, it's, yeah. it's difficult just to get it past him. Yeah, big strong athlete. Court seems smaller. It's interesting that his teammates call him R long, which means little long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is seven straight points for the defending champion. From two, four adrift. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that's what we talked about. Yeah. Fantastic. Just fantastic. That's something Sonny has to be very careful of. Just going up and lifting down to his forehand side and give him that jump. You need to maybe trick him a little. Try to play some more net shots, which Sonny's very good at. Um, and then take it from there. Exactly. And not use so much power. As you saw before, he was hitting hard on Chin Lung. And Chin Lung just gets that back and just turns it around and wins the point here. He open up, opens up with his cut. He takes a little bit of power off. Drop shot cut. Perfect. Uh, interesting that we saw there on the replay that Sonny Dewey once again wearing that back support. I think it's more of a precaution, isn't it? Because he's had so many back problems throughout the years. Yeah, it's, you see some players having it. He also takes it off now, actually. Uh, uh, some people have it in the beginning just you know, to really be proper warm. Uh, and and, and f they feel more, you, just as a knee. You have one on the knee, you know, the same thing. It just holds it a little bit. But then when the game gets going, you want to maybe once you more fully, freely, yeah, yeah, you know, and then they take it off. Yep. Coach there, Charles Schwanger, world champion in single champion in Birmingham in 2003. And of course, a little matter of an Olympic bronze medal in Sydney. I think that's you were talking during the women's doubles about how they bring on their young players. I think that's also something else that we ought to take note of with the Chinese squad is how well they use their former players in the coaching setup and encourage them to get involved and go into coaching far more so than I think we probably do here in Europe. Yeah, you know, um, there's there's some of the Chinese uh, coaches you can see that uh, I haven't. Maybe it's before my time, but I haven't seen them play. Uh, they seem to have a good combination, which is, I think is very important. You have a combination of former players and then, you know, coaches who have different qualities that, you know, you haven't been able to get some as a player. But, if, but as a player, of course, you... That's a, oh, wow. wow, that's cool. Good. I was slightly surprised about that. But no overall from the umpire. Such disguise on the clear thing. Yeah, it was... But as I said, they have a good... Oh, uh, yeah, that was spot on the line. It was more the side, maybe. Uh, but but uh, uh, as I said, they have a good combination of coaches. And I think it's important because uh, I've tried it myself. And I come as a player and becoming a coach. And, of course, you have many things that comes. You know, you have many, many years of education as a player. But there's also a lot of things that, you know, you need to learn as a coach that you, you never really thought about as a player um, it would, one of the you know one thing I, I said I wish that I've taken more coaching when I played because you do s tend to look at things a little bit differently oh, brilliant. bided his time worked the rally 
moved his opponents from the back into the net to the back of the court once again and once Sonny Dwi from Choro was out of position then he went for the winner Talk about trying to some net shots. Um, he seems to be uh, using a little bit more tagging clears now, Sunny, and then forcing uh, Chin Long to play the net and then go up and do these cross net shots. That's 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 maybe a tactic that can turn this game around a little bit. But it is difficult because Chin Long is he is so powerful, you know. He needs just a little bit of a window for a smash, and it's down the line. We've seen that a few times already. He's got good variation, hasn't he, with his overhead. We've seen the power play. They're just slicing across the feathers. And then we're, we're talking, he, he's hitting the lines, you yeah. know, and we all, you know, that's such a big difference when you, when you hit the lines. to think that literally just over a year ago his ranking was down to 117 in the world, Sonny Dwee. Here he is. That, uh, it's so, impressive. Yeah. Didn't Agassi, Andre Agassi in tennis dropped to 141 before he got mm, back to maybe. right of the top of the world rankings. Yeah. Takes courage though, doesn't it? It does, it does. But you can also see tennis have this diff a little bit different system. Well, maybe we should, you know, in badminton could be an idea. We also spoke about yesterday when you have pairs who haven't, there was a Chinese pair that haven't played for a while and comes back, you know, maybe, you know, some wild cards or something, you know, uh, could be interesting, you know, uh, just so you say some of these pairs that you know that has a really good level don't have to play three matches. Uh, before they have to go into the main tournament, so we keep the good players in the tournaments. Yeah. Um, I think that maybe could be a good idea sometimes um, because that's probably also one of the problems he had. He had to start from the qualification, and you know, yeah, and you don't know where you are in the draw the next day, so you had to play, to, and that no matter what level it is, he had to stay on court for three matches one day. Next day at 10 o'clock, it could be Chen Lang. Yeah. You know, and he's already used so much energy. Um, so, you say maybe sometime if, if there was a possibility of using a wild card, that could be it. I'm pretty sure the Aggies he got a wild card here and there. <laughs> yeah, sure, you're right. Yeah, good judgment. Yeah. Relentless, isn't it? The pressure from Chen Long. So few opportunities given to Sonny Dui Kunchara. And now a nine point advantage. Make that ten point advantage. That's, that's a clear uh, indication that Sonny Dui is very frustrated. Yeah. Um, but again, Chen Long doesn't do any mistakes. He can just keep that shuttle over in a very good pace, and he just needs that little chance, and he puts it on the floor. Definitely is visible that Sunny Dri is right now lacking uh, the solution to open up for Chen Long. Um, so. The Indian, in, in, Indonesian coach got a 
That's a tough job here to do. Oh, it's landed well in. Well, seven straight points. And now 12 game point opportunities. Knew that this opening game was beyond him. Lost the spirit, and that showed in his style of play, careless errors at the end of that opening game. 21-8, the margin of victory for the defending champion, Chen Long, in the opening game. Just 15 minutes. Oh, the Indonesian coach. I wonder what on earth he's saying. And perhaps you can give us the inside scoop. Do you know what happened to Li Mao? Of course, former Chinese players, coached in Korea, coached in Malaysia, was then employed in Indonesia. And then suddenly, just prior to the Olympics, Li Mao was gone. I you don't know? The, don't really know. Don't know no. what happened there. I just know he, he, he was very successful. <laughs> Everywhere it was. Absolutely. Uh, 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 so I, I really don't know. No. Maybe it took a long holiday. Yeah. Well, he has to try and find a solution. He has to try and do something a little different because if he plays the way he played in that opening game, there's only going to be one outcome. Chen Long, very impressive. Of course, when you see something like this, it's so, such an easy set. You can't help wondering if if Sonny still doubts his back a little bit, uh, or, or going through a tournament get does it get worse? You know, um, we don't know that. It looks like looked like a very very short <laughs> coaching. He got some short coaching there, uh, so maybe you know that's an indication of something is not right. Yeah, it's a perfect smash. But bad bag or not, he's not going to hit that one. No. Unbelievable. Oh. Well, he looked to me as if he was going to lift it. Yeah. Check the racket at the last moment to play the net shot. Good little trick shot. See, that holds it, and then turns to regular the last second. Yeah, couldn't play the winner from it this time but it certainly set up the opportunity to then on the very next shot play the winner we talked yesterday didn't we Jim about the importance of net play in men's singles and possibly one of the most crucial shots because that is the one that does set up the opportunity he got the short lift there and then he can play his winning smash you could put it this way, if Sonny doesn't take the net away from Chen Long, we can all, you know, it's pretty visible what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, he has to kind of control that net and be good at the net. Uh, on the other hand, you can see Chen Long clearly knows if he takes the net, he's in control. Um, and that's why you sometimes see when when uh, some players knows the other player is good at the net, they kind of play it into the court instead, so they can't get close to the net. Uh, that's not funny enough hasn't happened so much in this tournament uh, so far on the matches we've had um, but that could be maybe you know something Sonny could do he could maybe play it a little bit into the court and maybe force uh, Chen Long to, to lift instead of going close to it all the time so far Chen Long has won that battle every time so so in other words you're saying don't try and play it tight to the net but 
but sort of just push it a, a, a meter or so past the yeah, net. Yeah, because then you got you can't really spin close to the net. Yeah. Um, uh, That's short. And, and and many players feels that they have to try and do something with it. Yeah. And then you can be ready for that, and that suits Sonic's games a little bit more than the way it's played right now. Um, it's it's funny because I mean, I felt coming into today's quarterfinals this was a match one of the matches i was excited by all five of them but this was certainly one that i thought oh i can't wait to see this men's singles oh. because of course sonny dwi Kunchuro, in winning the thailand grand prix earlier this year beat lin dan on the way to the title mm. and it was his first victory over lin dan after nine successive defeats so i thought well cracky if he's got the the experience and the confidence from beating the Olympic champion, he'll come into this match with the with the belief that he can defeat the defending champion here at the Denmark Open. But haven't really seen that belief in him no. so far. As it looks right now, it doesn't look like Chen Long's game suits Sonny. <laughs> it's a game that well. So it could be something like that. But you, again... It's it's um, we've come to this in badminton where where you know again going back I know I spoke about tennis before but tennis grass clay hard court whatever it's starting to be a little bit the same in badminton you have players who are good with fast shuttles uh, you have players who like small arenas you have players where big arenas suit you. Then you have players that, like Lindan, doesn't really care where you play. But but uh, uh, um, it's just a little bit the same here uh, in Babson now. Um, oh, good rally. Mm, it's a fabulous rally. Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh. Oh, sensational. And it's a, perhaps a rally like that that can change the momentum of a match yeah. get so get some believing um, some trust in what he's doing that's a, that's a very difficult backhand to kill. but he made it look easy yeah. I'm not surprised both players taking the opportunity to take on board some liquid played you know when I play an arena like this where I could feel that I could hit the shuttle it, it made me feel way more comfortable right? if, if I played in, the, in a huge arena out in for example uh, what we play sometimes in Malaysia or, or China and where you hit the shuttle and you just feel nothing is happening <laughs> it's a totally different game well, uh, why is that is that because the the timing in a big arena has to be absolutely spot on why, why just spot on and then you know uh, more drift more this you know that there's bigger uh, you can say it's bigger to the spectators and everything it's just different um, as I said to you yesterday that's something that Denmark had to change uh, um, 20 20 30 years ago we used to because we have very nice small badminton courts but when we then played in Asia, we, you know, it was a totally different game. So um, it has a lot to say. Oh, oh. fabulous! Now that's the sort of sudden injection of movement. And also pace a shot. Look at this. Seems to hang in the air as he plays that cross court smash. It absolutely finds the line. Starting to show some improvement now, Sonny, and believing in his shots. He definitely didn't go for this in the first set. So. There you go. See? That's what I talked about. Yeah. He hasn't won that battle at all. Don't think he should play it. He should only play it when he's first up there. That's you know. 
And you could have played that shot, maybe put it a little bit into the court instead. You also see a tendency that people do mistakes on this because they still try and spin. Uh, but it's not that easy to spin a meter away from the net. Ooh. Chen Long was just watching his own game on the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's a little bit dangerous to try and play it too flat. You've got to wait for the right opportunity. Sonny, we know. Over, seven, nine. Yeah, good angled smash. So quick forward into court 255. That's 158 miles per hour. Way back is Sonny D. Conchado. Well, I was complaining that he didn't show the belief he is now, isn't he? Yeah. But it takes time to get back into a match. Oh, that's impressive. He's so physically strong he can get himself out of trouble and still play shots when he's off balance the game we're talking about actually if you see Lin Dan and Lee Chang Wei when they play each other they just wait and wait and wait for that chance nobody's when they play each other nobody's giving the other one a chance to go for it because they both know that they're so good at it Oh, that's a lovely angle. And all of a sudden, the Indonesian is beginning to push and pull the tall Chinese player from side to side. He's commanding the rallies more. He's yeah. taking the initiative more. And it really is paying dividends. Believing in, in his attack. Yeah. Using the straight smash from the hard cut and following up on them also. He didn't do that at all in the first set. So just one point in it. 9-10 in the second game. Oh, that is phenomenal. Well, he couldn't have been listening to you, could he? <laughs> <laughs> Taking the net early. And the control there. You see, look at that shot. Can you see that's just a little bit further away from the net? And that, he still goes for the spin. And then he has more time. Yeah. Instead of going close the first time. Going long, wasn't it? No. Uh, yeah. uh, recovered. Perhaps a little bit fortunate. Chen Long. In the fact that Sonny Lee Quinchoro took one that I'm convinced was going out the back of the court. So the one point advantage to the defending champion. That was the one I thought was probably going long. It was. Thank you. 
seconds. See again a different uh, coaching style. Few things, then out. While the Chinese coach is still speaking. <laughs> so that's something that's, you know, with the new way of coaching, being able to communicate all the time in the matches is something that's, that wasn't really in the game when you played and I played, you know, this communication. And just, just the, you, you, as a coach and player, you have to develop some kind of a, you know, partnership. No, no, you know, it's just not going in and say this and that. You have to know exactly where each other are. It becomes so important in these situations. I'm not convinced myself by the role of the coaches no. in Babington because I think we're an individual sport and I think it should be the test of the individual. I can see why the sport is developed that way because the whole of sport now across the board is so much more professional nowadays and we you know have full-time coaches which perhaps we didn't have the luxury going back many moons when i used to play but I, I think it's too much to uh, you don't get me wrong yeah. <laughs> i'm on your side uh, uh um i think it's but i think it was kind of like you know also getting rid of this uh, is the coaching going on you know uh, yes um Illegal coaching. Illegal coaching and all this. Instead of, you know, you. I remember when I played that, that you could clearly hear there was being, you know, spoken to the players and the, the same with, with us. Um, so they maybe just did it to get away from, to, yeah. to, to legalize it. You you can also see it in tennis. It's still not, it's still not legal there, but they do it. So, um, but it's, you know, you're right. It's an it's an individual sport, and it should be the individual who wins it. Oh. No, a little vocal celebration there from Chen Long. He realizes that this is a very, very important passage of play. Good. Oh. Well, what can you say? What can you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Bring an extra man in. <laughs> but look at that. Yeah, to find this angle. Extraordinary shot. And look as he's landing. I thought he's just moved the full diagonal of the court. Still landing in balance, still moving back to the base position, covering in case his opponent is able to retrieve it. Oh, that's landed well in. That's a lovely clear. Important for Sonny now to kind of stop the bleeding, as you say. It's 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 he has to stop it right now because then the the game will be over. Yeah. Yeah, he knows that he's up the pace, isn't he? Yeah. And using all the shots, forcing Chen Long to move. Super rally, and that will be very, very frustrating for Sonny Dwi Conchoro. Tried everything in that rally, and still unable to convert. And you have to understand that game that Sonny plays right now. You can also see he's he's a little bit fatigued. It, it it's so hard, and 
it was kind of like the same when I watched uh, Peter Gator play at the Chinlong in, in the Olympics. The Gator came up with some fantastic shot. And I thought every time he's won it now, he's won it now, but Chinlong just gets it back. And, you know, that's, that's his strength, you know. Yeah. And then when he has the chance, he puts it on the floor and on the line. <laughs> so, um, yeah, difficult. But he needs to play a little bit more like this rally he did here. Where he used to net and follow up on his mash and used to cut. Well, this is now a run of six straight points from 11 12 down. Sense is the danger. In fact, I think I said this is a crucial passage of play. Mm. And who's come up with the goods? It's this man, Chen Long. Oh, oh wide by a whisker. Comes over, thirteen seventeen. That's only do we can sure I was nowhere near that. Oh my goodness, that was close. What a good call by the line judge. It was just wide. Mm, that's called cool. good too. Desperate times now for Sonny Dwi Kunchoro. He's the defending champion. Looking intent on keeping his title. Oh, no. <laughs> well on earth did he control that first net shot extraordinary we have to be really really fair Sonny's playing actually he's playing quite well but Chen Long just has one of these days where everything works for him still won the point now stages we really are seeing a big difference in the physicality of these two men and again I don't know if the viewers can hear it but we can hear it here that in here he can hit it properly you can yeah. just hear that crisp sound yeah. of the shuttle yeah. coming off the strings of the racket and when you have that as a player when you have that feeling and you hear that sound you're very comfortable Makes you stronger. stage of now or never as far as Sonny Dwi Conchuro is concerned. <laughs> Made it count in that rally. And he 
that's uh, 23 points right now. Does the Indonesian to really psychologically put on the pressure to his opponent? Oh, oh and he's pushed it long. There was a real opportunity there. And Chen Long's reaction, he knows just how lucky he was. <laughs> Match point opportunities. <laughs> yep. Converts on his first. 21 8, 21 15, the margin of victory. And the defending champion through to the semi-final. Well, it was an impressive performance. Outclassed Sonny Dwi Conchoro in that opening game. But how well the Indonesian fought back in the second. Made a real match of it. This the final point. Well, fitting that it was a winning smash from Chen Long. He's hit so many of those throughout this quarterfinal. 21-8, 21-15 in 41 minutes of play. So there you can see how he's reached the semi-final. Victory over Hu Yun in the first round, then Wang Jinming, his teammate in the second, and now his two-game victory over Sonny Dwi Kunshara. So Chen Long, the number two seed, the defending champion, will contest the semi-final tomorrow against Du Peng Yu.